This is our first video on the length of a line or the distance formula. And we can see on the left hand side here we've got a situation where we've got a point A and B. And what if we had to find the distance from A to B? What is that distance? And it's not as easy as just counting squares. Because we're not going straight across or straight down, we're going diagonally along from A to B. So, we need to have a way of finding it out. And that way is Pythagoras' theorem. And you might remember, recently we've done some work on Pythagoras' theorem. So, Pythagoras' theorem, remember, was C squared equals A squared plus B squared where c squared is the hypotenuse squared, so the length of the hypotenuse squared. a squared is the short side squared, and b squared is the other short side squared. So how do we use that on this example here? Well, side c, we've got a point c, side c would be the same as that line ab that we're trying to find. So it goes from a down to b. So that's the hypotenuse squared. So to get the length of line AB squared is like finding the hypotenuse squared when we were doing Pythagoras last time. So the square of that equals the other two sides, their lengths squared. So it doesn't matter which one you call little a and little b. I'm going to call this one little a and this one little b. Just remember, the vertices, or the, the corners, are the capitals, and the sides are the lowercase letters. That's how we label shapes and triangles in particular. So A squared is along the bottom there, and we square it. So we've got from negative 2 along to 1. And that is a gap of 3. Alright, so a squared is from negative 2 along to 1. So we go 1 minus negative 2, and we square it. That's from the previous video, except for we didn't square it in the previous video. b going up there, the top one is 4 minus the bottom one, which is negative 3. So we've got 4 minus negative 3. And we have to square that because it's Pythagoras' theorem. So 1 minus negative 2 is the same as 1 plus 2, because minusing a negative makes adding a positive. So we have 1 plus 2 is 3 squared. And we have 4 minus negative 3. Minus a negative is the same as plusing a positive. 4 plus 3 is 7, so it's 7 squared. So we have 9 plus 49. And so AB squared is 58. And you might remember from Pythagoras, we have to then take the square root to get the length of AB. So AB is the square root of 58. Using our calculator we get 7.62 if we round to two decimal places. We can go back and check that some, some parts of our answer are reasonable. We can check the reasonableness of the 3 bit because if we counter that we go 1 2, 3. We can check the reasonableness of the 7 bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that, that's right. We've got those numbers right at least. The other thing that we can check in our answer is, well, 7.62. 7.62 needs to be bigger than both the two short sides. And if we look back here, it's bigger than the 7, and it's certainly bigger than the 3. So that's reasonable. So what if we are given just the coordinates and we don't have a diagram? 
Well, we could draw a diagram. It's a little bit of a pain, but we can draw it. So we have two points, A and B, and if we have to find the length AB, first need to know where the points are. So let's plot them. So A is the point 5, 2, so we go across 5 and up 2, so A is there. B is negative 5, negative 3, so it's down there. We have to find the length of the line that joins them. Here we go, see if I can draw a decent line without a ruler on a computer. Yeah, it's not great, is it? You'll have to forgive me, that's supposed to be a straight line. We have to find the length of that line. So what we do is get Pythagoras' theorem happening again. So I'm going to put in the short sides and the other short side to match the previous one. We'll make that little a and little b and that's the hypotenuse there. So if we have to find AB, we need to use Pythagoras' theorem. And we go the length of AB, and it'll be squared, because Pythagoras is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So it's that squared plus whatever little a is, squared plus B squared. And let's have a look to see what little a is. We could count 1, 2... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, it's a bit primitive, so the answer should come to 10, but is there a quicker way? Well, yes, there is. We can say that it's the right hand minus the left hand. The right hand's here at 5, and the left hand on the horizontal number line is at negative 5. So we got 5 minus negative 5. squared and that that part comes to 5 minus negative 5 is 5 plus positive 5 and that becomes 10 so it's 10 squared the b part this bit let's see it is the top one which is 2 minus the bottom one which is negative 3 all right so it's plus 2 2 minus negative 3, all squared. 2 minus negative 3 is 2 plus positive 3. So that's 5 squared, which is 100 plus 25, 125. So we have to, for AB, we have to take the square root of that 125. Calculator says that's 11.18.